Well, good morning everyone. So I am currently, well, technically I'm putting laundry away. I'm down a rabbit hole of like old Disney World, like abandoned rides, abandoned plans of like things they were gonna do at the Disney World parks. I'm trying to pull myself out of this rabbit hole, but I've gotta put this laundry away because today we are gonna do an Amazon try on haul. A few weeks ago I asked you all, what was the number one best clothing item you've ever bought on Amazon and I got an overwhelming amount of responses. So I went through and the things that were mentioned multiple times and there were quite a few items that a lot of you guys recommended, like the same specific thing, I ended up buying those. The seemingly random reason I was mentioning laundry earlier was because a lot of them I've had for a few weeks, I've actually worn myself, you might have seen me wear in videos. So we've got those, I've got some brand new pieces to try on. I'm excited to share them with you all. Of course, everything will be linked below. One little caveat I wanted to mention, obviously this is a weird time and a lot of us are trying not to make non-essential purchases and or it just might not be in your budget to make clothing purchases right now. So one thing I always do when I'm feeling kind of pressured to like, oh, I really want that new top I saw on YouTube or whatever, make your own little wish list. So like Amazon even has lists. You can create your own as many as you want. And so you could create your own little wish list, add them to it. So if you feel like, well, if I don't add it to my cart now and buy it, I might lose what that specific pair of leggings was that someone talked about. That's a great way to kind of collect it all. You don't feel that pressure of needing to buy it today. And yeah, that helps me a lot. So I always like to mention that with videos like this. By the way, fun little side note, I just redid my little press on nails that I just glue on. These are the kinds I have on right now. These are from Kiss. The short length is definitely my favorite. I'm not, I don't know. I don't know about the square nails. I'm not sure if I love them. I, I don't know though, but sometimes I look at them and I'm like, ooh, that looks nice. But these a long time ago I got probably on Amazon. And instead of using foil, you use the reusable little caps and it worked pretty darn well. Figured I'd give them a shout out. Again, I don't even know if they're still sold, so I'll see if I can link them, but it worked really well and I didn't have to waste a bunch of foil for it. Also, a little side note, I'm almost done doing our laundry. My abs are so sore and I just sucked water down the wrong tube. And they're so sore because I did this 12 minute ab workout from uh, Blogilates on YouTube and literally, <laughs> 12 minutes and my abs are like, no, we can't breathe. Really coughing from water. I was like, ow. So if you want to know what workout it was, I will link it below. Holy cannoli, my abs have not been this sore in years. I'm embarrassed to say. All right, I'm sweaty, but let's do this thing. <laughs> so actually this top I'm wearing right now, I got on Amazon. I will try to link it. This I've had for a while though. So I figure we would start with loungewear, workout gear, pajama type stuff first, since that's what a lot of us are wearing more often than not right now. And then we'll get into some cute tops, blouses, sweaters, some skirts and shorts. So I actually wanna start with this little PJ set that looks really comfortable. Okay, how cute are these PJs? So these were a little over, I think they were around $29 on Amazon. They had different colors. And so many of you guys said that these were the most comfortable PJs. They're super like lightweight. There are pockets. It's just like breezy. I think I got the size small. It's a little tight here, but not to the point where you're like super uncomfortable. Um, but if you want it even looser, of course you could size up, but I just, I love how like loose and soft. They're just so comfy. And as long as you don't look at the toes that need painting here, they're like, capris so they're like breezy if you're someone that doesn't like pants but you don't necessarily want to wear shorts this is a good mix oh my gosh they're so cute i love the little lashes everywhere you guys this is the first time i've ever found what i actually think are lululemon dupes i have tried probably six different pairs from amazon and none of them they're not even like the same material or they just roll down these are $22. This is the turquoise. I got the size small, so I would say it's probably true to size. And these feel exactly like them. I feel like the uh, Lululemon ones come up just slightly higher, but you guys, it is so close that it doesn't matter. These, they like stay when you're like, if you were doing squats or running, I cannot believe how well these fit. So I am definitely going to get another color. They had a couple different colors. This top, I don't know about. What happened to me there? I'm not totally sold on crop tops like on me, but if I'm at home working out, I don't mind. This is not, I don't think meant to be a workout tank. It's very, very stretchy. It was like 10 bucks. They have a lot of different colors. I got the size small. 
Um, if you're looking for one that's really basic, if you wear this type of thing, it's great. I mean, it's kind of got the cap sleeve. I probably could have gone up to a size medium and been just a little bit more comfortable, but it, the small fits fine. I realized I didn't really show you the rest of them, but yeah, they're super like spandexy, stretchy. They feel so much like them. They go all the way to the ankle and wow, just wow. So this is another crop top I got. Again, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it. It's kind of cute. And the main reason I bought these crop tops at all was so that I could wear them with high-waisted stuff. Um, even higher than this so I wouldn't necessarily be showing anything but like I have these cute like pleated skirts that I never know what to wear with and actually I have one here in a bit I might try on but this one's cute too but even with the strapless bra I think it looks kind of weird and this is like my favorite strapless bra so if it doesn't look good with that I'm not sure that it would look good with a lot I guess I could wear it with a regular one but yeah it's okay it's a little bit see-through I don't know that I would recommend this one. Okay, so this skirt is actually what I, I'm now remembering why I bought this shirt. This was it. It's this mid-length kind of pleated skirt. It's super comfy. I feel like some skirts can make your belly look a little bit weird. I don't think this does it as bad as other ones I have. And it's a really, really good length and they have a lot of different colors. It's $21.99. This was my favorite. Oh my gosh, I just think it's so cute, but I still, if I'm not keeping this, I need to find a white shirt that I can wear with this, or maybe, actually, I guess I could wear that black one, but really, really loving this, definitely keeping it. I feel like for spring and summer, it's so easy, it's feminine. They have like a salmon pink one that I'm like, maybe I get that one too, but I'm like, I need to make sure I'm wearing this one enough to like make it worth buying another one, you know? Okay, so let's start with these leggings. These were like $12.99. It's the Syrinx brand, like S-Y-R-I-N-X and they had a million colors. These are nothing like the Lululemon ones, so I wanna make that clear. They are completely, these are more of like a stretchy, cotton feeling, but if you're looking for leggings not to work out in, but to just lounge in, these are the most comfortable ones I now own. So I have them in like this navy blue. Again, they're that high-waisted, so they kinda of suck you in, but they're different, not only the material, but like there's this like, seam at the top that with the Lululemon ones, it's not. It's almost as if, I don't know how to explain it, but. It doesn't, it's not like crazy tight. So or I ordered this in a small, true to size. They go all the way to the ankle and you guys, they're like lounge leggings and they're so comfortable. The one thing I will say about leggings like this, these typically will stretch out a little bit over the day, not to the point where it's gonna look baggy, but it usually is noticeable. And I've tried, I don't know that I've tried this brand in the past, but I've tried other ones that were like that. So I'm gonna assume they're similar. But when you wash and dry them, they get back to normal. Now, this top I'm wearing, I've been looking for like open back like workout tanks. And these were $18.99. I got one in black, red, and green. And honestly, I'm gonna keep all of them. A lot of my workout clothes were from when I was postpartum and I just weighed a little bit more and they're really, really baggy. And I wanted some that were still kind of baggy. I didn't want them necessarily fitted. But when I run in the summer, I overheat so fast. And so I'm like, I need breezes going in and out. So I'm just wearing one of my Old Navy sports bras that I love. <laughs> I can link, they're my favorites. They're kind of low to medium support. Um, so if you're not super chesty, they'll work for you. If you are, they probably won't, but they're my favorite. I own like four or five colors now. But I just think they're cute, they're functional, they're breezy. And so I'm like, yes, yes, yes. I feel like workout tanks are one of those things that you can spend a lot of money on for really no reason because they just, for me at least, I just want them breezy and open. I can get a breeze going through it. That's all I need. These are the other two colors I got. They have a million different colors, so just be aware of that. But oh my gosh, this is like hidden gem, gonna be so perfect. All right, let me take you down. These are these shorts. They're like $21.99 and I wanted to find some that were fitted like leggings all the way down, you know what I mean? And so I looked at some Lululemon ones, A, they're insanely expensive, but B, a lot of them were sold out. So these are these eight inch inseam and then they have five inch and then like two inch. And so I actually wanted to try the five, but they were sold out of my size. I did size up for these in a medium. I like them, they're not totally like Lululemon. Like again, there's the seam at the top, but it doesn't bother me. And I feel like it'll stay up when I'm running. So I'm gonna try to kind of try these out for a few weeks. And if I really, really like them, I might end up getting another color. Cause my problem is I have like running shorts that are, you know, kind of flowy and stuff meant for running, but they get so caught up between your thighs while you're running, it drives me crazy. And I figure this kind of solves that problem, but I'm still getting air down here when it's really hot out. So I 
I'm excited to try these. They're also like kind of trendy, like bicycle shorts right now, so. Okay, so this top was $13.99. I got the size medium, so I would size up. And they had a bunch of different kinds. It's just got this cute little tie. It's a little bit looser if you size up. And it's just so cute and simple. And I feel like for spring and summer, I was like, I just want cute shirts that I can still wear around the house. I can wear it with leggings or jeans or shorts. It looks cute across the board and yet they're comfy. I don't need to think about it. They're not see-through. I don't need like a camisole under it. I think $13.99 is a very fair price for it. I love the cute little tie. Like I said, I really would size up and I think this camel print is really cute. Upon some further investigation, it looks like they have a lot of different colors and patterns, but they're not all the same. And you can tell in the picture that some are like shorter and like actually cropped. This one hits like right at my like hip. So some of them you can tell are definitely cropped ones. So just keep that in mind. I am only speaking for this particular one. So this one I just got for $26.99. I have a size small. I love the quilted patterning. It's comfortable. It's lightweight, but it's like warm enough that it'd be, it would warm you up if it's chilly out, but it's still lightweight where you're comfortable like moving in it. So I would consider this both loungewear and just like cute going out wear, you know what I mean? I just, there's everything about it. It's got the pockets, the quilted pattern, the gray. I love the brown zipper pull. However, I just looked on Amazon and of course it says unavailable, even though I literally ordered it a few weeks ago. So I'm gonna see if I can find, you know how like there are 10 brands that are all selling the same thing. I'm gonna see if I can find the same thing elsewhere on there, but I, Absolutely adore this. So a lot of you guys recommended this particular top. It's a really nice like tunic length. So it actually covers the front and a lot of the back if you wanna wear it with leggings, but you're maybe self-conscious about that. I think that's pretty cool. And I think the pattern is pretty. My only complaint is it kind of hits at an awkward spot for me. I don't really like where it hits. So I'm not sold on this particular pattern, even though I do think it's cute. And so it's, it was $16.99. I got the size small. And unfortunately, as I was looking at it further, all of them are the same pattern. It's just a different color up here. So I don't know. Okay, easily one of my favorite purchases I made was this $10 Hanes men's sweatshirt. So I did get small. You could get it even more oversized and get a medium, but I didn't want it too, too oversized. It is comfortable. It's cozy. They have literally every color under the sun. I just kind of liked this like washed green color. And yeah, I, I love everything about it. And this is one of those things that so many people right now are into like just plain sweatshirts, like men, slightly oversized, cozy. And so I think it's great. It's a great price. And it is, they're just so flipping comfortable. You can't beat it. You can't beat it. Okay. This is a sweatshirt I have been lusting after for an entire year. They have a couple different colorways. I got the size small. It's 27 bucks. I obviously just got it out of its packaging. Is this not just so cute? It's like 70s retro almost, but not quite. And it's like oversized just enough, but oh my gosh, I love everything about it. And then let me show you these shorts. Okay, so if you're someone, I've got a little bit of a booty. I'm not totally confident in my legs, y'all know that. And so I wanted something that was like kind of medium rise, not low rise and not crazy high where I can't breathe when I'm like living my life. These are these Levi ones that are stretchy. So like they are stretchy, y'all. 18 bucks, they have jean ones, a couple different ones. The inseam's just a little bit longer, but not so long that they're like Bermuda shorts because I don't really love that on me. But they're comfy, you guys. And I got size four, and a lot of times I'm between a size four and a six in pants. Like I typically lean closer to a six, but I was able to do a size four very comfortably. So I would say it's pretty true to size. This, like this whole, I know this outfit makes no sense together, and I'm sure you guys are loving me squatting. I love both of these so freaking much. I wanted to see the pockets. There you go. I know I'm kind of weird about like pockets. That's a weird shirt. All right. <laughs> this top, 17 bucks from Romwe on Amazon. I got large, so I would size up twice if you're thinking about getting it. It's still a fitted top, but I love the scallop design. It's stretchy enough. It's comfortable to wear. I love this neck piece. Uh, I had mentioned that the neck piece gets a little bit like when I first tried it on, it was a little bit loose, but now that I've washed it and dried it, it actually fits a little bit better. However, I have a feeling it will loosen throughout the day, you know, when I'm wearing it. But um, it's so, it really is cute. And I feel like the one time I've worn this, I got so many compliments from you guys in it. And so anyway, I really, really like this top. And I think for something like comfortable, but you can go out in, this is a good one. So I think this top is really cute and really unique. I love this kind of sleeve design where it's kind of like ruched and puffy. 
and I got the size small. They have, it's all this same pattern, but different colors. So there's like five or six different colors. Definitely, if you're getting true to size, it's slightly fitted, but it's still got like slack. You don't feel like it's like sucking you in or anything. Really cute. It's got, I didn't do it, but there's like a little button detail there in the back. And I, I just feel like it's one of those cute tops. Like when people are going back to work again, this would be a great one to wear to work. It looks cute on camera too for Zoom calls, whatever you're doing. So this I got for $16.99. It's way, way more fitted than I would have guessed. I wish I would have sized up and gotten a medium. So definitely size up for this. As I'm looking at it, they're all, they're $16.99. They now just don't even have this color on there, but they have a lot of different colors. So if you like rounded square neckline and the cute sleeves, definitely size up, but it is cute. And again, this would be a really good top to wear tucked into high-waisted pants or a high-waisted skirt like the one I showed earlier. Like if they have this in white, I might size up and get that to be the shirt that goes with my leopard skirt. So I like it, but with that caveat. Okay, this is a really solid outfit. Let me show it to you. So this top is this waffle weave print. You can wear it off the shoulder. You can wear it like a V-neck. Uh, and then you can kind of tie it. It's made to be tied. Super loose. I got it in a small. And you guys, this is like my kind of shirt. Super lightweight, like for spring and fall. It's perfect. And they had a lot of different colors. So this is like definite key. These pants, however, oh my gosh. So many of you guys said, okay, Jessica, these are like these skinny pants that are crazy stretchy. They're weirdly like thin and comfortable, but they're like actual pants. And I'm like, tell me more. So I got a size medium. So size up, if you will. I don't, in pants, it's kind of tricky to say small, medium, large, so I don't know, but I, medium is perfect. They're so stretchy, you guys. They're so stretchy. They're so comfortable to like sit in, and yet they look like actual like denim type pants. You know what I mean? So I would say they're medium rise. They're skinny. They go all the way down. They have 10 million colors. Beware when you're looking. Look at the picture when you're picking the different color because some of them are more like Bermuda shorts and they're not pants. So really look closely at what you're getting there, but these olive ones, are incredible and I actually needed some new olive green pants because I wear this color all the time. So everything about this outfit is heaven. All right, what are our thoughts on this? This has pockets. It has like a slit that goes to like there, not crazy high or anything, but so it's slit on both sides. So it's one of those like kind of comfy dresses that you can kind of lounge around in. Um, I don't know. I don't hate it, but I don't like love it. However, if it's just like a nice day outside and we're just like bumming around the house, I could totally see myself wearing this or going out with like a jean jacket over this and like booties or even just like cute sandals, like gladiator type sandals. I do like this color. They had quite a few. It's $25.99. I did get extra small because I knew it was like super loose. So I would say you can either wear, get your normal size and get it even more baggy or go one size down than you would normally wear in dresses. But I do like it. I think I'm going to keep it because it's so freaking comfy. By the way, through all this recording, we have had a special guest in here that you can't see in our bed. And he thinks that I don't know he's there. Pinocchio. What are you doing, beagly boy? So that's everything. You know, for me, I felt in the past probably four or five months, really in 2020, I lost a lot of weight after having a baby a few years ago. And so it's taken me a long time to lose the weight, but I'm now to a size that I'm like, okay, this is gonna be my size for a while. You know what I mean? I'm probably not gonna lose much more weight or change that much. So I had so many clothes that are now a little bit too big on me or they're just ratty. Like I've had them for so long because I wore them so much when I was pregnant and right after, etc. So I've, I've been feeling lately like I wanted kind of a wardrobe refresh and this has kind of served that. I feel like I got a really good mix, springy summery clothes, even some like sweaters for more like fall and winter, some good pants, shorts, and certainly workout gear and like lounge wear, which I'm using more than ever right now. So I hope that you found some gems in here and I certainly don't want to pressure anyone to make huge purchases on Amazon. That's never my goal. And I hope this isn't taken the wrong way. Um, I almost didn't do this video if I'm being completely candid, but so many of you guys send in such good recommendations that I was like I want to share these with other people because they were such good recommendations but if you did enjoy this video I hope that you'll subscribe I do all kinds of videos on my channel I do makeup and beauty videos skincare I do cooking and grocery hauls home videos vloggy style videos and of course videos like this so if you enjoyed definitely give it a thumbs up let me know what your favorite Amazon purchase was down below in the meantime I'll see you on my social media it is at it's Jessica Braun and I'll catch you guys in my next video bye